at you virtually from an approved socially distant location. It is Motivation Monday, episode 27, Find Your Balcony. You can see I have a special guest here. This is Spike. This is my son's bearded dragon. They're like puppy dogs. <laughs> but last weekend, my son was out in the woods and there's this huge pile of leaves that the neighbors had left and apparently he was throwing her up and down and it was all good fun and games until he lost her in the leaves. So he comes home in a panic and I knew I immediately had to spring into action, went onto the scene, started asking questions to orient myself. Essentially I was, I'm a, I was able to detach myself emotionally from the situation and start asking the situational questions to understand where he was, what was going on, what was he doing, what had they done, and of course there were other friends around to ask as well. So immediately, I mean, as a leader, you have to understand when do you need to get involved in the task or, you know, should you just let it get solved at the lowest possible level? In this case, I knew I had to start getting involved. And I started working in a linear fashion, starting clearing leaves, going through this pile. I mean, I was the biggest, able to do this most methodically and fast enough. But again, I had to detach myself. I had to get back up on my balcony because I realized this wasn't working. The pile was way too big and she could be moving off in who knows what direction. So I needed a leaf blower. So I ran back to the house, had enough sense because again, remaining detached, I got both leaf blowers that I had, made sure I had gas full in both the tanks, got back in the car, got back to the leaf pile. My son was in a panic over at this, at this point in time. And so you know, I began to direct, you know, you do this, you do that you look around along the perimeter, check to make sure that she's not there while I blow the leaves. So giving people jobs. And again, I had to be involved because, well, as the adult, I was able to use the leaf blower. <laughs> so, you know, we did search the area and we obviously we did find her spike is okay. And my son, you know, learned a very, very valuable lesson and was you know, extremely happy to be reunited with his pet. But the lesson again is, and why we need to find those opportunities for when we find ourselves in situations where things could be fast moving or there could be a panic or there are things that are highly emotionally charged. We have to be able to detach ourselves in, from the situation and get up on our balcony and be able to see the larger picture so we can act accordingly and focus our energy where it's most effective. I know people that are in leadership positions that are so detached, they're out into orbit and no one really understands where their head's at. That's way too detached. But a good leader is able to come up above the noise, be able to good, get good situational awareness, and that's what we need to be practicing. So that is all this week. Glad Spike is safe and <laughs> I wish you all well. And until next time, I hope you all will continue to be kind, stay strong, and keep moving forward.